Hey everyone, Charlie here. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Learning to Play the Piano with Charlie. Playing Piano with Charlie, uh, Learn to Play with Charlie, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is another improvisation episode. So if you haven't checked out the last one, check it out. I talk a little bit about how to improvise around uh, a, a cover, like, a, like doing your own cover of a song, doing your own version of a song that's already kind of out there. This one we're going to talk a little bit about um, maybe making up your own song. It's kind of my over a lot of improv and a lot of everything overlaps with each other, I guess. But regardless, if you haven't already, do me a favor: hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, hit the little notification bell, and share this with 73 uh, or 74 other people. Ideally, 74. That helps the algorithm and uh, helps me do these uh, do more of these kinds of videos because it takes a lot of work to edit all this all this stuff together with the sound and the cameras and the hello. Oh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let me know what you think uh, and let me know other questions that you guys have down below. So today I want to talk about uh, one of the aspects of improv, doing improvisations, composing on the spot, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, a lot of it kind of um, is rooted around like chords, right? Like harmonies. Because most music, I mean, don't get me started on this. This is a talking time with Charlie episode in the making. Um, but most music that we we know and appreciate and like and all that good stuff is tonal. So it's like within tonal keys. So it sounds good, right? And I'm not getting into the, the super atonal music where it's like I'm not doing, I'm not, if you want to improv, improvise on that, that's, you can do that on your own. Um, I'm not going to talk about that right now. But we are going to talk about tonal music. So notes, you know, uh, music that sounds like um, what most people would consider is, you know, tonal, harmonic music that like sounds sounds good. Um, not to poo-poo on atonal music, but a little bit of poo-poo on atonal music. Okay, so anyway, a lot of uh, music when you're improving relies around a few keys, like chords, right? So the easiest one is C. There's no sharps or flats. So um, I'm gonna assume that the people watching this probably have a little idea about uh, you know keys and stuff. So C, C major would be the one. Side note. I don't really care for theory. I've talked about this, I think, before, where like I think it's important if you're gonna get into music, you gotta know basic theory, intermediate theory, maybe a little advanced theory, but like the further along you go in theory, the more all that stuff just falls apart and all the rules kind of go out the window anyway. So, um, but in terms of basic theory, C major, that's like one, and then F major would be four, and G major would be five, and then whatever. You can just count. Like seven so uh, the bottom line though is a lot of songs have like a few chords and they just repeat the chords like most pop songs have like a few progressions like you might have heard like a circle of fifths type progression there's you know a it's basically the same thing but whatever you know there's a few chords so if you find a chord progression that you like you can improvise around that without really leaving like the three or four chords that you're going back and forth. So if you're rooted in those like three or four chords, then you can kind of do whatever. So let's, let's do a quick improv, just like a super simple one, just with like basic chords. So let's say I was gonna do um, A minor, D minor, G minor, C. G major, C, sorry, A minor, D minor, G major, C major. And just kind of go back and forth there. So if you're gonna stay in that, in that like four chord progression, what you can do is basically just start super simple. Don't leave. Sorry, uh, I can't remember the keys now. A minor, D minor, G major, C. So don't don't leave those four keys. Just keep playing them. And of course, you can do like different um, inversions or whatever. Uh, so we got. But if you keep staying in that basic key. Like think your left hand just just doing those four notes, uh, those four chords. Then your right hand can really be free. And pretty much the thing with a melody is as long as it's kind of as long as you're kind of rooted in some kind of a key, the right hand can play all kinds of random stuff. And a lot of the time it'll still sound okay, right? So if I say play something really weird. to the main notes every once in a while, it can still sound okay. Now, I'm not saying that was any good. Uh, that sounded a little bit lousy, but that's the idea. So as long as you're kind of in the, in the main keys and your right hand kind of comes back to the original, it should be okay most of the time. So you can... Four main chords.
parts. So then after that, you can just kind of expand and expand and expand and kind of see where you go. So, you know, if I want to make the chords sound a little bit uh, better, you know. oversimplified version of how that kind of stuff works but a lot of improv a lot of music in general well, yeah, a lot of music not even just improv just music in general is oftentimes just rooted around chords right so if you have chords and you know that certain chords work or certain chord progressions work you can just use that and then use your right hand and just kind of do whatever and find what sounds pretty and melodies oftentimes are just repeated stuff like themes in a piece you just do the same thing over and over and over again eventually and people will start recognizing that tune and um, yeah, that's kind of just how it works. It's really actually, it, I mean, again, this is oversimplified, but this is kind of how it works. So basically, if you just find a chord progression, and it can be as simple as, you know, this one, which is A minor, D minor, G major, C major. So, um, you know, it would be like, if you're in the key of C major, it'd be like, what, six, two, five, one, right? Something like that. Um, minor six, minor two, major five, major one. Again, don't get me started on theory. Not a big fan of the advanced stuff but uh, this is pretty simple stuff um, for theory so yeah that's basically if you can kind of root yourself into like a few chords um, then you can you know manipulate those but you still have a basic basic framework and again of course if your entire song is four chords it might get old fast um, granted a lot of like pop songs and stuff actually do just have four chords the entire time if that sometimes they're literally just one chord um, but uh, you can eventually you're gonna probably want to like break out and like expand and transpose and go into different keys and stuff and that's good um, a lot of the time but if you can just start with this part you got like a lot of it under your belt by then so anyway I hope this helped uh, this is kind of just a real intro starter course maybe lesson two on the basic basics of improvising and uh, I hope it was helpful so smash that like button hit the yeah hit smash whatever the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell and like send it to 76 other people. It just went up because interest. But anyway, see you guys later and bye-bye. Uh,